I've had the 2016 MacBook Pro with the touch bar for quite some time now. I actually got it before it even officially launched here in India. So I've actually been using it for a better part of a month now. And a lot of reviews are already out on the web and mine is incoming. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But to my surprise, not a lot of them, not even a few of them actually focus on the performance of the new MacBook Pro in depth, which is kind of ironic because this is the MacBook Pro. So I thought to make a video focusing just on the performance of the new MacBook Pro and this is pretty much it. Oh and FYI, I've actually been using the base 15 inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar which I think is your best bet if you want to invest in that 15 inch area and don't really want to max it out and add to the already expensive price tag of this laptop. But the best way to talk about its performance is actually to figure out how much has it improved from the last version. So the first test that I actually ran was in the app of Geekbench which is a widely popular app that measures the whole of the power of laptop both the CPU and the GPU and I did not really expect the results that we got to see. So the 15 inch MacBook Pro from 2015 scored 3389 on the single threaded side and 13138 on the multi-core side. The 2016 MacBook Pro on the other hand scored 4162 on the single threaded side and 12,624 on the multi-threaded side which is actually less than the 2015 MacBook Pro which is kind of interesting because the 2014 MacBook Pro 15 inch base model actually had even better scores on the multi-threaded side. Now Apple was kind of touting a lot on the highly improved SSD speeds of the new MacBook Pro and so I put it to the test through the Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test app where the 2015 MacBook Pro got write speeds up to 1001 110 megabytes per second and read speeds up to 1230 megabytes per second whereas the 2016 MacBook Pro scored 1409 megabytes per second on the right side and 1724 Mbps on the read side which is a kind of a great improvement from the last generation but but since the write and read speeds also depend on the amount of storage you have you would be getting way more speeds on the 2 terabyte SSD that Apple now ships with the MacBook Pro. It's gotta be insane. Next up, I actually ran the Nova Bench, which although is not a very popular app, but I kind of believe a lot in it. So the MacBook Pro 2015 scored a 1093, whereas the MacBook Pro 2016 scored 1145, which is not a huge difference actually. But if you see these details beneath that score, it's kind of ridiculous of how fast and how quick and how capable machines today are. Anywho, last but not the least is Cinebench, which happens to be my personal favorite benchmark app to test a device and upon running it on the 2016 MacBook Pro with the touch bar it got a fairly impressive almost 72 frames per second and slightly over 600 points in the CPU department. Fun fact the 2015 MacBook Pro is not that far behind this laptop with almost 63 frames per second and 600 points in the CPU department. So not a very drastic improvement not a major leap in the 2016 update of the MacBook Pro but it's definitely a little bit better. So there you have it guys, this is it. This is how the MacBook Pro with the touch bar stacks up along with the MacBook Pro from last year. Again, as I said, not a major leap, but I'll speak a lot more on this in my full review, which would probably be the only one that you would need to watch. And it comes out really soon. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, we had to kind of depend on some numbers. Hope you enjoyed watching them. Feel free to share this video and make sure to stick around the channel and I'll catch you in my next one. Take care.